Hey, this is Sensei Mark Remke, and we're with Ninja Training TV. We're out here today with my ancient skills instructor, Josh Lane. We're going to be going over some scenario training today, and I'm so excited because it always is fun. Oh, well, there you go. All right. So that's what you got to use. You have a knife with you. Yep. So like Tom Brown says, since you have a knife, this is like being on vacation. So, okay, you got to make a fire. You think you can do it in 20 minutes? I think we could. All right. Right, easy. Sweet. For a spindle, the real important thing is how straight it is. Always look at this straight on. And this one's definitely got some curve to it, so we got to really look at this here. Maybe try to now, cut it somewhere at that point. Yeah. So um, the next portion we'll do is make the notch on the ends. Could get away with just a square knot on this one. Solid. Nice. Maybe right there. Mm -hmm. Right? And then up here, you know, you've got that notch so you can work with it. Again, just look at how you want to be set up. You want the string on this side of your bow, it looks like, by the curve of the bow. Yep. Natural curve. So you set that up, get your notch, kind of eyeball that. And this is where the art comes in because we're probably going to have to adjust this a little bit. All right, so here we are. Mark has done a great job of getting his basic fire kit set up. He's got his handhold, his spindle. He's got a fireboard set up here, and he's just worked on his bow as well. So he's got a lot of the components. We're going to do a little bit of fine tuning now, and we've also been gathering some things that will help us as we go. Mark is working on honing his spindle right now so that this is going to go really easy once he starts to work on making the fire. And he's just trying to make nice short point all the way around so when he uses that on the fireboard it's going to catch really easy. It's one thing you often don't see on survival TV shows is how much setup work it, it takes to actually get your bow and spindle set up to the right tension and it should be a little bit of a struggle to actually get that onto the bow. That's a good sign that you have some good tightness. And there's some tricks to it too that I can show you too, but it looks like Mark's got a great setup there. So Mark has burned in his handhold. He's got that set up. He's got his fireboard burned in enough that his spindle is not going to fly out of there. And that's as deep as you have to go when you burn it in. The next thing we have to do is make a notch, so we'll show you how to do that. Well, looks like we're ready to try this thing out, so wish me luck. <laughs> All right, let's give her a rip. A little bit, you can use your fingers to grip the bottom of that string, and your thumb, too. All right, you can see it's smoking on its own. That's a good indication that Mark's got a coal, so that's what we look for, that when you stop, that smoke continues. And I'll let Mark pull that coal out of there. And there you go, it just made fire. So this is what we accomplished, a coal. From here we put it into a tinder bundle that we would make up. But we have a high uh, fire advisory around where we're at in the woods today and we don't want to cause any problems by lighting the fire up but as you can see we've got smoke so we've actually made fire and it didn't take that long so go out try this at home try different types of woods have fun with this and um, from the past with what you've told me bow drill is one of the best ways to start fire especially if it's a wet environment because you can get the most friction possible what really was neat there at the end, he told me to tighten up my hand on the string. The string was starting to slip and that really changed everything for me because I just took my hand, pushed down with my thumb, tightened the string itself, it grabbed onto the spindle and I could feel the friction again. 
and that kept that spindle moving so fire I love it